Hello, I'm Kotarovsky and <laughs> I, I changed my hairstyle because I it's now in quarantine and the barber, the, the hair salon is closed so I tried to cut my hair by myself Mm. I think he was very good, but I just wondered I couldn't I I couldn't be convinced by this uh, the backwards part so I tried to fix it fix it fix it by scissors <laughs> by normal scissors not for uh, not for hair cutters but just 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 uh, normal scissors for papers or something stuff like office office scissors and I tried to fix that by myself but I couldn't manage that and <laughs> this is the result but it looks okay right so I'm gonna stop let's go So today is about stemiwaza. Do you know stemiwaza? Stemiwaza it's a kind of a technique to throw your like to sacrifice your body and look at that. Stemiwaza. And the first thing, this is this is the the biggest thing what I wanna tell you today because it's written Japanese judoka don't like. <laughs> And that's right, because Japanese judoka, they always, always, they are taught by the coaches. All coaches try to say, <clears throat> firstly, you must effort, make of effort to make your own ippons, not like wazari. We used to have yuko, so no one, no, no coaches are teaching to take how to take yuko or how to take wazari we didn't have such an education we just <clears throat> we, were, we have been just educated how to make ippons so this is what uh, we don't like and it's kakeniga this is another new word for you but it's all about false attack it means false attack and kakeniga uh, if you do stemiwaza, it could be uh, kakenige also, like false attack also. It, it increases to make false attacks too. So what is what is stemiwaza? Let's go. So the second thing, kanji analyze as always we do, but today mm, the kanji letters signs are quite difficult. So. I just separated for two and as always with kan according to kanjis and I will just explain what it means. Sute, the first one sute, looks like this. It means to throw away. And second one, mi, sute means mi, means body. So the, the whole meaning is like a technique but which Throw your body away self. Yeah, it's sacrifice technique. It's called in English sacrifice technique. And just it means like that. And Japanese people don't like because they don't like false attack. But nowadays some players are getting like it because it's effective. But it's not traditional way to coach for coaches. And players also... Our beaut uh, beauty sense is not allowing the, these. But strong players know how to use sometimes to make, for example, tomoenage or sumigaeshi or such stuff. They are stemiwaza. Sometimes they look good, but most of the time when, mm, when they are not successful, it looks very, very, very bad and ugly ugly techniques. That's why for Japanese judokas, maybe even for <clears throat> other judokas, it looks bad and it looks not so successful most of the times and when it's false sync, bad. 
attack that's why it's called false attack in Eng English in English but uh, in Japanese it said kakenige and nowadays false attack is very very not uh, defined in judo rules by IJF I'm sad about that and in judo we have a lot of unofficial techniques names like mm, stemikochi this is uh, it, it's called in many places in Japan <clears throat> but in Europe it's not known uh, yet like it's not known well but STEMI it means just uh, sacrificing so we put connect with some other techniques name and STEMI if you put STEMI STEMI something STEMI Kochi STEMI Ochi STEMI Uchimata I've never heard but STEMI Kochi and STEMI Ochi are mm, quite popular and STEMI Kochi it means Kochi Makikomi and makikomi is mean, meaning rolling, so it's expressing in another way, but it means same technique. But there are many of unofficial techniques name, and we have a lot in Japan. Also in Russia, Russian players are calling in different ways, and Chinese people, Chinese players are calling in different way, different pronunciation. Maybe same character, same signs but different pronunciations that's interesting but now IJF is cooperating with uh, Kodokan and they are trying to make the common vocabulary for judo players so it's it's getting good it's getting better but it's also deleting the traditional traditional uh, techniques names Te techniques names the last additional one additional th theme is third one Kishu Waza <clears throat> Kishu Waza is uh, kind of a techniques kind of techniques but it means suddenly suddenly like uh, techniques which can work only sometimes if you if the opponents know it it's not working some techniques like that and there are some kishu waza like tomoenage i think it's to kishu waza sumigaishi also ki kishu waza mm, other some techniques too I, I cannot remember now but i think yes and it's also not this not liked by japanese players because we have uh, we have training time and when we will have training time we would like to train the very classic uh, techniques which can take Ippon and some small techniques like Kouchigari, Ochigari, Kosotogari, Osotogari Osotogari is not that, bad, uh, not that big but uh, not that sh small techniques but they are trying to make movements by classic movements and to make the basic classic uh, beautiful judos but kishiwaza japanese players not cannot allow it that's why the, when you go to japan and visiting university and when you take a lot of you will get upset because you can't throw so easily and Mm, you are trying to throw them by your best technique which can surprise them but it's actually most of you are doing like it's like false attacking and it's like just to surprise the Japanese players because you are so upset and you are trying to do max and even Tomoenage many times and Sumigaishi many times is it's so annoying for Japanese players they are, because they are trying to fight in classic ways but we, you know Japanese players are uh, good players top, play, uh, top athletes they also know that uh, foreign players try to make a mess on their self 
on on Japanese players. So they're adjusting how how much fights trying to make randomly fights with foreign players. Like okay, today uh, Polish teams are coming, so maybe two or three fights out of thirteen, something like that. So Kishiwaza means surprising techniques and if you do this too much in Japanese practice like Japanese randori time in Japanese practice you will be hated but actually you must think because if you take so many times it won't be working and in my opinion randori time is to make to edit uh, to enhance your basic abilities like to how how well you can push the opponent how well you can pull the opponent how well you can move the opponents to the direction what you where you want and you control the opponent's reaction and you technique take techniques in the direction players the opponents came and this is the way Japanese players are practicing in. So, the three parts. The first one, Japanese judoka don't like kakenige, uh, false attack, and even stemiwaza. And second one, kanji analyze about stemiwaza, like sacrificing technique or throwing your body away self. The technique. And third one, kishu waza, it's surprising technique. So, <clears throat> Kishiwaza and Stemiwaza is not equal because, okay, let's say Stemiwaza, it's like Tomoenage, Sumigayoshi, uh, ste uh, Sotomakikomi, something like that. But Kishiwaza also, like in Japanese, in Japan, we have tradition, uh, tra not tradition, but old uh, fashioned technique, like only. It's called Nekodamashi. It's meaning surprising cat. Sorry, the battery of this camera is over. So now I talk only the last part of this session. <clears throat> so the Nekodamashi is just to, the techniques just to surprise the opponents. And it's, it used to be used among the samurais, the real fights to kill each other. So it was, it looked, it just, I showed now, but I, it looked uh, not serious, just to surprise, but just, just one small surprise could kill the people. So it was this much effective and, you know, <clears throat> Kishiwaza is kind of these techniques. Like you don't have to throw your body away like you don't have to sacrifice your body for making techniques, but you need to surprise the techniques. The te techniques, it's surprise, it means kishiwaza. So if you saw some players are doing uh, just for one or a few times techniques for surprising the opponents, it's kishiwaza. Okay, thank you for this time watching and see you in next movie. Bye-bye. Cześć.